Hello beautifuls, it's Minnie and I am back again with another video and this one is all about setting powders. Um, so for the longest time I, I didn't use them, I just put on foundation, I actually didn't even use concealer. Um, for me I find that I don't need concealer too much um, but I do like to put it under my eyes. Um, I used to try to put it wherever I had like a little face demon and then put foundation over it, but it just never worked for me. Um, they always tend to look cakey, whether I'm using expensive high-end ones like NARS or I'm using drugstore ones like Maybelline or whatever. Um, but I found that um, putting setting powder over my under eye concealer and all over my face um, and then setting that with a setting spray um, makes my makeup last literally 12 hours or more um, and the setting spray keeps it from looking cakey. So the very first one that I ever tried to use, I think I grabbed ELF's setting powder um, because it was really affordable and I didn't know how to use it so I was like I'm not going to buy an expensive one. So I got that one and I hated it so I was like turned off from using powders. Um, and then some time went by and I had saw a bunch of YouTubers using Laura Mercier's setting powder, which is very expensive and is from Sephora. So if you watched my makeup regrets for a 2015 video, you will notice that I wound up hating that one as well. So now at this point I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Why are these powders not working for me but everybody swears by them? Well, it really was the fact that they just weren't working for me. I was using them right, I was baking my under eye, I was dusting off excess. These products just weren't working for me. So then I was at Target one day and I saw this little guy, which is the NYX Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. Um, and I think it's $10 for this. I loved it. This works fantastic for me and it was super affordable. Um, this is in light medium. Um, I have been using this for six months and I absolutely adore it and I recommend it. Um, give it a try if you just want to try it like a more affordable but good quality setting powder. Try this one out uh, and if you hate it, save your receipt, bring it back to Target or wherever you get it. I think you might be able to find this at CVS as well. Um, so shout out to one of my favorite YouTube YouTubers, ugh. her name is Tati. Um, I saw her talking about a setting powder and she was just raving about it. Now I really trust her reviews. I feel like she is very honest with her um, subscribers and if a product sucks, she will let you know and I really appreciate that. So um, I saw her using this, which is Coty, C-O-T-Y, Airspun Loose Face Powder. And um, the price point was fantastic. This whole tub was like $6 um, as compared to this little guy, just to show you the difference. $10, $6. So I started this, uh, this, this search to find this powder. I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked at every drugstore, every Walmart I was at, and I found it on drugstore.com. So if you don't see this near you, go to drugstore.com. You can order it online. It's a good, safe website, and it's really affordable. So lo and behold, I'm at Walmart and I look near the nail supplies and there they are just sitting there and I'm like, this whole time, I, God, like I had walked by this section a hundred times and just not seen them. So there it was and I'm like, oh my, I bought three of them because they were six bucks and this is in translucent extra coverage. Okay, take a good look at this. Well, it would help if I held it correctly, wouldn't it? Um, take a good look at this. This has become my very favorite setting powder. Today is the first day that I used it. I have been wearing it since two o'clock. It is now almost midnight. My makeup hasn't budged. Um, although I still do like this, look at how much more product that I'm getting. Okay, for half of the price. Half the price, you guys. Like, it's a no-brainer. Tati was completely right. This stuff is like magic. And then I also saw Patrick Starr using it and he's like really <laughs> laying it on there and he recommends it too. So I don't always like to buy into the hype of what people like on YouTube because I have and I've got some really shitty products um, and there's been some that were great. So um, at $6 I figured trying this I couldn't go wrong. I read reviews online for it. People really loved it and you guys 
I love this stuff. I highly recommend it. Um, I think they make it in honey beige and like a naturally neutral uh, color, but I just wanted to go with the translucent extra coverage and I love it. I will never buy another powder. Every time I see this, I will be picking up extras so that I have it stocked up for when I can't find it again. Um, and if you can't access this, or maybe you're not in the United States and you're watching this and you live in the UK or Canada or somewhere where you can't find this, drugstore.com has it and it's really affordable. So yeah, that was my little rant on <laughs> setting powders. I hope you found this helpful. Um, totally give them a try. Um, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I love hearing your feedback. It really helps me let it really helps me know what you guys like seeing um, and what content you might want to see or you don't like um, and then it just helps me to create better videos for you I, I love you all so much thank you so much for watching I will link um, the products that I mentioned in the description box below which I always do as well as the link to my social media on Twitter and Instagram I love you all so much have a great day thank you for watching bye